So what happens when we've built our Stormtrooper costume and this plastic, this plastic armor gets dirty? Should I polish it? Do I need to polish my helmet? Hello there, Richie Stormtrooper here again. Welcome back. And this is a video I've done in answer to a question I got down below in the comments. Um, thank you very much. I always like it when you do participate, give me questions, keep me on my toes, give me stuff to research. It's actually really interesting. And to be honest, I did have to go onto the forums and research into this, do a bit of uh, investigating myself. But I think I've got some information for you and I'm going to be giving you some recommendations for polishes, um, some guidelines as to what you can use on, uh, certainly on ABS plastic, maybe on some other types of plastic, whatever type of plastic you've got um, your armour in. Um, but do also stay tuned until the end because at the end I'll be giving you my own personal opinion, my own slant on what I think of the use of polish and uh, what you should be doing when your armour gets dirty. So it seems there are indeed quite a lot of troopers that do use a polish, they like to keep their armour shiny and clean for those troops. Um, I went onto the forums, did a bit of research as I said. It seems to me one brand in particular is very popular amongst the Stormtrooper costumers and that is brand Novus, N-O-V-U-S. I think it's probably an American made product but I did check online. I can certainly get it over here, mainland Europe and in the UK. Uh, on Amazon, so there's no problem there with availability. It seems to be the Stormtrooper's choice. There's a range of three different types of product. They are available in a set. They're labeled one to three, polishes one to three. There's a number one, which is a blue bottle. It's got a blue label on the bottle, and that's for cleaning and shining. And then there's a red number two. That's for fine scratches, polishing out fine scratches if your armor gets scratched. And then there's a number three in a green, in a bottle with a green label, which is supposedly for heavy scratches and for preparing the surface, the plastic surface, for the use of number two. So I imagine you would start with number three if you've got some really heavy scratching and you want to smooth out that surface and restore it to what it originally was. And then proceed on to number two, get the finer scratches out, and then just for polish and cleaning, you may just want um, something to polish and clean, your armour might not be damaged, then probably the number one is fine for you. Now, I think in general the key with this is just look at, you, you definitely don't have to buy any Novus, you can um, probably go to the DIY store, the hardware store, whatever you want to call it, your local B&Q in the UK, and look for any kind of type of product which is recommended for polishing plastic. Now the key here is to know what type of plastic you've got. I know the Novus stuff um, is positively recommended for ABS, so I know I'd be safe using that and it'd be um, the right type of polish. It's just a case of reading your label, knowing what type of plastic you've got and making sure you don't get something that's, I don't know, going to damage your plastic, maybe it's got solvent in it or whatever. Obviously polishers with solvent in there are going to melt your plastic, whatever. Just make sure you read the label and um, make sure it's safe for what you want to do which is basically make your armor shiny and clean now i said i was going to give you my own personal opinion on the use of polish and i'm guessing you've already uh, worked out that i'm not much of a polish user i said before i had to go online i had to go and research on the forums because i had at the back of my mind i did know that was the one product i sort of uh, had heard of it before there were troopers using this Novus polish and they were very happy with it so I wanted to dig that out for you but um, in a nutshell I don't use any kind of polish on my armor whatsoever um, the first thing that, that for me starts alarm bells ringing is the idea of polishing out scratches um, first of all what are you doing with your armor to get it really heavily scratched anyway you're not going to be rolling around on tarmac and uh, scratching up against sharp ob objects generally are you um, but I'd also be very wary of using anything that is for removal of um, scratches because this I'm presuming this is going to be some kind of um, abrasive compound to be quite honest to repair a scratch you have to actually damage the surface again you have to grind it down somewhat I, I imagine these compounds um, will have an abrasive effect on the surface of the plastic so that you can smooth it out. It's very much like a, a sandpaper effect. I imagine the, the numbers three and two of these Novos are actually slightly abrasive, the three being more abrasive to get rid of the big cracks and then the, the number two 
a, like a finer grade of sandpaper if you want to compare it to sandpaper. Um, but basically you're taking some of the surface off and I would be very wary of doing that with something like this which is this is thin enough as it is this is like one and a half millimeters and some armors are even uh, one millimeter in thickness two millimeters of course also if you're dealing with acrylic cat ABS maybe you've got an, an SDS kit or you've got a storm a trooper master kit which is two millimeters thick with the acrylic cap on the top if you're using abrasive compound you're going to take off that top layer completely and that's only a few I'm sure that's only a few microns thick so that's not really going to help you you're going to get to take it down to the ABS and it will never be as shiny as the acrylic cap that you're trying to polish out so there is that be wary of actually damaging and thinning out your plastic unnecessarily if you are into a shiny idealized look by all means use a liquid non-abrasive polish if you want to keep things shiny and clean uh, I would probably recommend simply using a soft cotton cloth or maybe some soft microfiber cloth and some warm water nothing more not even any detergent just to get rid of um, any coarse dirt that you might have if you've got a troop outside you might get some some mud splashed up your your legs or whatever um, get take off with water and if you really want to do something shiny then look for a polish which is not going to melt into your plastic look for something that's recommended for ABS I would be very wary of using household polishes that are designed for wood and the likes check everything beforehand before you start using Mr. Sheen or whatever or Mr. Muscle on your armor it may do more damage than good in the end but basically if you are an accuracy nut and you're looking to reproduce that used Star Wars universe look that George Lucas talks about then you're not going to need any polish this stuff is pretty shiny and it's probably not going to come across that well on these cameras at all but these are quite scuffed and dirtied and uh, maybe that's coming across there that's quite a, a substantial mark I don't know where that's come from um, it happens it's white um, quite often as soon as you have assembled your army and you put it into something like this this is my and if you can see that this is my uh, case that I carry it around in as soon as you put it into your little transport box your toolbox usually it's going to be made of uh, black plastic it's going to get some scuff marks black plastic will scuff it comes against your boots and the rubber soles of your boots like that it's going to leave some little marks like that but basically this is all screen accurate stuff as I'm sure it's coming across as in the on the main camera it's still pretty shiny it's still in line with that what you imagine a stormtrooper to be but think about your first ever impression of the stormtroopers that was when they stormed onto the Tanti with Darth Vader and that's your first look at the stormtroopers now that was one of the later scenes that they filmed and look at these pictures these are in all screen grabs by that time the armor was pretty filthy and in particular the boots the paint on the boots is falling off everywhere and the armor's really scuffed up but you think back to the first time you saw that film and you still got this kind of idealized idea of a shiny white stormtrooper for nuts like me and you accuracy nuts that look closer you're going to want that dirty look and that's my opinion anyway i understand perfectly understand the idea of going for an idealized look you spent a lot of money on this you've um, spent a lot of time getting it right and you know your your public the people that come to see you if you are your trooping with your garrison or whatever if you're just at a comic con or whatever people see you from close up and they've probably got expectations they want to see something white and shiny and nice but they also probably think it's going to be something symmetrical um, and the stormtrooper armor is anything but perfect and symmetrical so i'd say roll with it let it get dirty if you get any really coarse soil in some a lot of dirt on there you can wipe it down with a white cloth but little black marks like this in fact let me let you, let you into a secret a lot of costumers in the 501st legion when we what the stormtroopers when we've built our armor and it's all shiny and new we deliberately take the heel of our boot to it and start rubbing it or a, or a black and white newspaper 
getting some of the print off it so that it's it's grubby right from the from the start. Most of us are looking for that weathered used look and I would advise you just to go with it. This polish, this nose polish, I know the kit uh, over here in Germany costs like 40 euros so it's probably around $25, maybe even more, $30 in the USA. I don't know what it would cost in, in the UK but it's a lot of money for something that's going to be a losing battle and it's going to in the end make you let, look less screen accurate. So don't waste your money, don't waste your time. Revel in being a grubby used stormtrooper, you're a soldier, you've been out in the wars and your armor's going to get dirty. If this video was useful or interesting for you, please do like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. I'm posting regular things here about Star Wars costumes. We've got a full build going on. I'm going to carry on with that. So you're going to build your own complete set of accurate Stormtrooper armor. So please do join us again. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.